Yo! What's up, everyone? We're back with some more Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings. I almost said Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Well, actually, that's not even true either. I almost said Witcher 2 Wild Hunt. Um... Jesus Christ, Geralt, put your sword away, please. Thank you. Um, as you can see in the top right corner, we gotta go watch the execution. Hey, look, it's your death. Zoltan. Dandelion. My informer. Just great. Nice. What's the plan? We improvise. No killing. Never thought I'd hear that from you, Roach. Geralt! Geralt! Over here! Help! I'm coming, Dandelion! Hey, what's up? No, let me talk to him. Oh, wait, I already did talk to him. Um, what about you? Step back, white one. No, that's racist. What are they going to hang for? They don't look dangerous. The charge is collusion with the Scoia'til. Dandelion and Elven spy? The bard's hanging for debauchery. Ah. What? The sentence was he's to hang for debauchery. There, why and are you the surprised? The sentence is nothing to scoff at! Are you serious? Listen here, people. Is profligacy now a punishable offense in the free kingdom of Tamaria, or are we in Nilfgaard? I piss off, freak! Or you'll have me to deal with. Ooh, it's scary! The common folk, you're spoiling their fun! Well, a freak he may be, but he speaks true. Debauchery is <laughs> one of my favorite pastimes, but I don't want a noose placed around my neck for pursuing it. The soldier boys paid us a visit or two, though we didn't have much fun. Away with you, Margo! Go back to your brothel! Time to go? Fine. But here are this, people. He sure liked to parade about, but his willy wouldn't come to attention. Ha! <laughs> Stop Damn. the execution. Shut your trap. The thing is to hang, and he will hang. This is a decent town. Whores and witches notwithstanding. Watch your words, guardsman! I don't know witches, but Margot's a decent woman! Shut it yeah. all of you! Or I'll not vouch for what I'll do. Thinks he's tough, showing off his balls. Don't fret, people. I've seen the rot on them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm warning you for the last time, Margo. You ain't gonna do shit. You're no lady. I'll Leave beat the piss out of you. An officer. What? I haven't even hit you yet. <laughs> you freak. Want to squirm with the others? <laughs> Look here out! Assaulted an officer! They'll hang anyway! Ooh. Oh, we're all fighting guards. I didn't even notice that. Assaulted an officer! They'll hang anyway! Damn, Geralt! I don't know if I can show that on YouTube either! Just a straight up lynching. Hmm. I don't know how how to feel about the QTEs. Shit. Um, if you have hard QTEs on, it's impossible, but if you have easy QTEs on, it's impossible to lose. But I'll take on the whole damn, uh, garrison. What the hell is going on here? I said, what is going on? What the arsefuck is going on? Uh, necklace, chain thing. Uh, uh, I'd like to re re report <laughs> uh, 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 out of my sight, Clover. A few plowing bandits, and you can't even hang them. 
And you, stay calm, hands off your sword. Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? Your people started it. Short fuses, some of them. What do I care? They started, but you finished. I had to defend my friends. Will you release them? Terrible choice of friends, Witcher. I'd rather give you a thief. No. Relax. I'm joking. Oh, can't show that. Or maybe, I don't know, I'll look into it. We can put on another show. Bloody and serious this time, mind you. Or we can come to an understanding. Meaning? Give me a minute, Witcher. Listen here. You may have heard rumors of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalette Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. Yes, he is. It's likely that Scoyatel had a hand in this heinous murder. Yes, it is. So you see, none of you can feel safe. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. That's smart. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders. Prepare to fight. And ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Now disperse. Go to your homes. Nice speech. You might as well have said outright that non-humans slew Foltest. My subjects know exactly who the enemy is. Out in that forest, Grow careless for a moment, and you're a dead man. Whereas you know, the non-humans here in town are all friendly. Friendlier than the merciless bastards out there. We let the Scoyatel inside, and they'll skin us alive. Just before they slit our throats. Here, even the slightest sense of safety is an illusion. We'll not succumb to it for a moment. What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The nice. scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being, but they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. <laughs> I'll be busy till then. Okay. One more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. Appreciate it. They were really going to hang us. I, I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Oh. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. Oh, we owe. We owe you, Geralt. Thank you. Time to hit the tavern. Come on, Dandelion, you need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery beneath a veneer of courtesy. Except nothing can hide the stench. You know, maybe The Witcher is not a great game for Let's Plays just because I have to censor like every other fucking uh, video. No, put that away. Tris, why are you going in the brothel? Motorsport. Might find something interesting oh. here. Yeah! I probably should have read those, but whatever. Um. Sorry, I'm just pausing to let the music rock for a little bit. It's beautiful. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, we'll go grab a new sword first. Yeah. Okay. Go, go, go. So how's it going, dear? Everything all right at the household? Oh, you're not talking to me. <laughs> Youngster screaming in here. comes the witcher. Think he'll agree? No, I... I don't know. Should we just walk up and ask him like that? Take a good look at him. He'd be ideal. You know I can hear you, right? Uh, like, I'm right here. Ha! Greetings. A word, if you will. You see, we've created an alchemical substance, and we wish to test it in Vizima, in a laboratory. Seeing as you're a witcher, we wonder if you'd be willing to test it in practice. In a year or two, given the occasion, you could visit us in Vizima. We'd examine you and reward you generously. We need to study its long-term mm. effects. We can't say more. Are you in? Sure. Why not? 
Splendid. I am a witcher. Excellent. Now, if you could also keep a journal of the experiment. Don't overdo it. How am I supposed to... Wait, what? How am I supposed to write stuff down in a journal if you won't tell me what I'm supposed to be looking for? Whatever. Uh, make me some stuff. Hey, boss. Look who's graced our smithy. That titan of the art of smithing can't hear us. Busy. Works a blur in his hands. And how are you, witcher? Things working out for you? Not really. Nice workshop. Bah, it's oh, no what did you not answer the question? Forge, but thanks for the compliment, both in my name and the master's. So how can we help you, eh? Uh, I don't have any of this stuff. Can I buy it? Okay, Steam, relax, please. Wait, 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 wait. Come back here. So how? Um. That's a lot of orange. What did I need for this? So. Um, diamond dust, timber, iron ore, silver. You know what? I'm just. Uh, no, wait, no. I guess so I can't. Can uh, you... uh, I need one silver ore to. Wait. One iron ore, two silver ore, timber, and diamond dust. Um, I don't so... know if you sell diamond dust, but I guess I can look. No. Okay, I needed one iron ore, two silver ore, and everything else I probably have to find, I would imagine. Thanks, me. So how's it going, dear? What? Everything all right at the oh, house? here in this stall. <laughs> there he is. Do you have the reader, what's uh, a plank in uh, Minecraft terms? Ah, oh, shit. Mind. Can we get down to business? I didn't mean to skip all that. Oh, wait. I'm dumb. Um, not crafting diagrams. You do have diamond di <sighs> You want 261 orins for that? Yikes. Do I have anything that I can sell? I don't want that. Um... Wait, where did I get arachnid oil from? Okay. No. Um. Where did I get all these formulas from? I don't know, you can take these though. Alright, um... Well, I guess that's not happening for now. No, chill out, girl. Relax! A journal. It was an good occasion to feel out the commander. Okay. Alright, I guess we'll do this one.
Game's got some fire music though. <laughs> Damn, that was close. In keep, vodka. Tris Merigold. Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. Love got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Full Test? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Uh, Winds I don't and think rumors. so. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltis died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. Uh, yeah. Tris, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbleton, Count Merivel, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the Lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to Why a field? Him. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite Racist. of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. <laughs> Civil war was in the air. Where were the mages? Hi. Where were the grey eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited. Neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stay in Temeria if he's crowned. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Talis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalet Lambs, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, well, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds significant stake. Huh. You should just make Geralt king. I think I've heard enough about politics. Voltest killer lay in wait in the tower where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. How did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorva the Scoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Oh, I wanted to keep chatting. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. Okay. Time to go to work. What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. 
Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. And which of you is ready to help the sorceress fight the beast? Why us? Huge it is. Big as a mountain. Then why get angry at someone who's willing? Well, cause... We'll tend to the Cairn, the sorceress or I. Maybe we'll do it together. We'll draw it away from the port beforehand so as not to endanger the likes of you. Well, I hope you succeed. I've no preference for who does it, witch or witcher. Just kill the horse, son, and the whole town will be grateful. Okay. I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. Oh, it is in good. this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. If I remember right, so, this is actually a side quest. Are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. I think just everybody puts it that way. No way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir's a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Cairn was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Meridor, sharp as ever. You're thinking that? Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths, right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact, too. But enough of these pleasantries. You're the one who asked. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. The partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairn emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there, on the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. Ba -boo, ba -da -ba -doo. Help! Oh. What are you screaming about? Wait, can I not open this? Oh, okay, I can. Cool. So many doors. Hello, merchants. You're not. Hello. What do you want? Heard you have a problem. Rude. Ah, if only we had just one. Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port, and tolls are to rise. 
can't help with the tolls, but the monster's a possibility. The sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. I'm She's a witcher. To work with her. And who's to pay your wage? That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage alone. You can split that reward if you wish. Have it your way. But if the sorceress fails, you'll be stuck here with your goods till winter. Your losses would be far higher than the cost of hiring me. See you. Wait a minute there. No need to get cross. Time <laughs> is coin. I understand that very well. If your participation will expedite the matter, so be it. We'll add two fistfuls of orans, though our pouches will be empty. When? Hmm, I'm not gonna push it. It's a deal. Now tell me what you know about the beast. You're the Witcher, damn it! I've no knowledge of these things. Who could tell me more? That plowing elf, Cedric, most probably. He's supposed to know all about monsters. Not more than me. Him. Mm -mm. In the village outside the walls. Now leave me be. Okay. Boss, why what? the hell are we stacking and restacking this stuff if the port's still blocked? Um. Do I know how to get to Cedric? No, but the game will tell me. Geralt! Uh, game? I'm sorry? Okay, there we go. I got a little scared. <laughs> um, does this take me where I want to go? Uh, it might. Where might you be going? Uh, what kind of question is that? Anyway, know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. The merchants are paying good money for killing the beast. Yes, uh, PC, I understand. No, no, relax. Oh my god. Go back to the game! Coin is never the most important thing. It is for a witcher. But it's still pretty useful. I don't trust her. Sheila? Why not? She's a powerful sorceress. Dangerous to her foes, even more dangerous to her friends. I know you don't like her. Any specific reason? I'm just trying to warn you. Thanks. I guess I'll have to ask her. How? We're going hunting together. Right after I find Cedric. Well then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. Oh wait, there's a smith out here too. Hmm. Well, I thought that was like screaming. Hello. Excellent work. In it, the finest hides and the tannins on half are either a straggler, yeah, a lobber there, sometimes a hapless calf. I've even got otter fur for you. That's sweet. You hunt? Oh, we must not hunt in the royal forest. Even children know that. Besides, it's too dangerous to go among the trees now. What with all those monsters? They must be finding more food in the area. A war's brewing, methinks. Not necessarily. The Scoia'tael attack merchants and ambush patrols. Ideal conditions for necrophages. We ought to wait for better times and be satisfied with the little things, like the good book teaches us. Okay, you may be crazy. What does this even do? I don't know. Weird. Um, you are worthless. Wait, no, come back. I don't want to see... I could have sworn there was a way to buy... I oh, wait, maybe it's... Uh, oh, yeah, that's why. I would imagine... Um, oh, Garrow could just steal stuff. Cool. Okay, take me out to the beautiful music.
Quack. Wait. No, the ladder's on that side. Look, people! Wonders and miracles! I thought he was just gonna say, look, people. Be vigilant. All right, cool. In Belk, it'll be nearly a year now. Moril would delight in a day like this, Saharan. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the longing. I try, I do. But I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. Don't let other Shay poison your memory of her. Hatred is but an outlet for helplessness. Thank you, Cedric. Why did Raphael. you say it like Raphael. that? All right, cool. Um, yeah, I think we're going to end this one here. Uh, we will talk to Cedric in the next episode. Cool. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I uh, appreciate it a ton. And I will see you guys on Wednesday for some Fallout New Vegas. Peace out, y'all.